Jeremy Corbell is a documentary filmmaker who played a big role in bringing these questions to the public. If he looks familiar, that's because he was sitting behind Fravor, Grush, and Graves today in that testimony. Okay, Jeremy, thanks so much for joining us. I gotta say, though, man, pilots seeing weird stuff flying around in the sky is one thing, but someone coming along and basically saying what sounds like exactly all of the UFO crash conspiracies I've ever heard growing up, and then saying, I can only share details in a skiff with people who have clearance? Like, come on! Uh, what's your take on that? Gotti, I think you know my take, which is that it wouldn't be shocking if you have been paying attention. Why David Grush can't say these things in public realms is because he's a whistleblower. He is exposing something that's been going on a long time. And I will tell you, I was there all day, days before, helped set this up. They wouldn't allow for a secure facility for him to speak yet, just today. So you have to understand, it's only shocking if you haven't been paying attention. Today was a historic day, Gotti, and I think you understand why. We have never had people of this credential and credibility, not just saying they saw things with their eyes, but backed up by sensor data. These aren't just pilots saying they saw something. These are pilots testifying to what's already known. And one of the most bizarre parts of today is this back and forth where it was like, hey, I, can't, I want to tell you more, but I can't. We'd have to go into the skiff and you'd have to have clearance. So what happens now? Grush says he's, right. he's turned over a very specific list of names, hostile witnesses and cooperative witnesses and specific yeah. locations or a location where a craft may be, or crafts may be. Uh, like what happens next and how soon are we going to see some of these Congress people go into skiffs and get some of these possible briefings from, from Grush. Yeah, so that is correct. So people have to understand that David Grush, so he came to George Knapp, my mentor in journalism, and me first. He came because of reprisal. He came because he was fearful because of this reprisal. We took a lot of time and vetted him. He came forward to the world. He is a true whistleblower, a patriot. He is doing this because it is the right thing to do. It's what he was taught to do. Now, why he can't speak openly right there in the public congressional hearing is because he has an ICIG, which is an intelligence community inspector general complaint, a whistleblower complaint under the Presidential Protection Act. This is literally, the world is watching David Grush right now. How we handle David Grush's account, what he saw, what he knows, is how everybody else who is willing to break from the fold and tell the truth to the American public about the presence of UAP or UFO, which is fact, it is true, it is real. But how you get these people to come forward is how we treat David Grush right now. Let's investigate his claims like the Inspector General did, and by the way, found it credible and urgent what he said. So they found his claims through their own investigation to be credible and urgent. David Grush is telling you how it is, whether or not you can accept it. If 10, 15 years ago you would have said, like, what are the chances of us hearing this in Congress, it would have been slim to none. I, I ask you this, what do you think the chances are today that Grush believes what other people have told him, but that he's been fed lies and misinformation and some sort of psyops? You know, I can understand that perspective from watching it through television. Honestly, I'm just glad you are covering this, Scotty, because this is news, and your network is covering it because it is news. And sure, what yesterday could have been, we can say, hey, this is unusual to understand today, but those people attacking David Grush and his credibility, this is your time to do your worst. Everything has failed. He is absolutely who he says he is, and I can't wait for him to be able to tell his full story publicly to everybody, because the, the American public, they don't only have a right to know, Gotti, they have a need to know, because the implications of what he's saying, if they are true, which they are true, Gotti, but everybody should make that determination on their own. This is not somebody that's coming forward as some sort of shill for an intelligence agency. He is going against the grain here. He is trying to be a patriotic American, and you know what? He's succeeding, and, and it's pretty incredible to watch. One of the things we heard about today was, was pictures and video and sensor yes. data, and you had at least one member of Congress saying that he had seen a picture of something that he just couldn't explain, and then we've heard talk about the classification and what shouldn't be classified. Do you know of pictures and imagery that would just stop everybody in their tracks if it was released today? I think you are highly aware that I know of these because I've obtained and released a lot of them with, with George Knapp. 
However, I know that there is more coming, and I really hope for ultimate transparency. Look, when you have AOC on one side and you have Representative Tim Burchett on the other, and they are agreeing on a topic that everybody can get behind, it gives me hope. This gives me hope that we can unite and get together on things. Even if we disagree, let's find out the truth. And we are now at a critical moment, a critical point, where the right questions are being asked by the right people. Let me tell you, it's a pressure cooker. The meetings I've had today, what's going on here in D.C., and where this is going, I think that there is nothing now that can stop whatever the truth is, whatever UFOs, UAP, represent to humanity, which I don't know the ultimate answer, but whatever it is, we're going to learn more, and that is encouraging. It's crazy to think that this is what it took to remind us all that, that we're all human. Uh, uh, last question, do you know of any specific times or does it look like he will be going into a skiff with members of Congress anytime soon? Any question? I would have to imagine that the answer to that would be extremely soon. However, that's not just the end goal. You have to understand just educating Congress that they've been lied to, that there's been misappropriation of funds, which is theft. Okay? Just letting them know that is not enough. Telling them this is not enough. We need active participation in exposing this information and being honest with the American public who deserves the truth but has a need to know what UFOs or UAP, what it means to us that these are real, which is undoubted. There are machines of unknown origin. And this is a matter of strategic surprise from a national security issue. We cannot have something happen where we don't have a 360 view. But, Gadi, I'll tell you this, man. It is so far beyond just national security and strategic surprise. If this is correct, then this changes the fabric of our understanding of what it means to be human. And I, myself, am encouraged that we're going to learn more extremely soon, not just through bureaucrats, not just through legal system, but there are other ways in which people get truth out, and I'm excited for that. I'm glad you're encouraged. I'm glad you're excited. I am frustrated because it seems like the truth is out there. It's just inside of a skiff that I don't have. No, Donnie, you know, it's like inches closer as every day. day. You've been on this beat. You've been on this beat, and you know it is inches closer every day. We're learning more factual information every day. They have Commander Fravor and Lieutenant um, Graves up there today telling you these facts, what they experienced. That is a huge leap forward. You've never seen it before in your life, and you're going to see more of it. Yeah, at this point, I don't care what it is. I just want answers. Jeremy Corbell, you have been so instrumental in all of this. Thanks so much, brother. Thank you.